Okay, what's up everybody on the Baloney? Playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Like the video, enjoy. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, now somehow it didn't, but... We got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? They're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You gotta take it. I killed Combs' brother. A long time ago. <clears throat> then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Yep. Let's go then. Yeah. You know, I've been fighting Comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his God private army. Then it, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den. With you to cover us, hmm? Okay. Just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, 
With you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Hey, up there. Men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Yeah. Hello, Dutch. Been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, I still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Sense. <gasps> Handing them over to the law, it's, I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. 
With this fella Colum right, we can draw them all back. True. <laughs> Where'd Colum and Patrick head off? He's escaping! Shoot him! Relax! Relax. I got him. I got him. <laughs> Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> uh, no, of course not. Uh, not yet. <laughs> Finally! Put his weapons over there! Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <coughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <coughs> Septic. Say nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Uh, why are you uh, still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. It's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Uh, Six point guy. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached truth. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it. They get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you. Hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you.
people, hold, hold, hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. I told you it was a setup, Dutch. Oh, my boy, my dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Man, Scrimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. Oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I got you. You're safe now. That's pretty, Tuss. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home.
I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Holding up. Not so good, I'm afraid. Come on, keep your chin up.
Arthur. You going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. That's very funny. <laughs> yes, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that, but... I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now where is this spot? <laughs> so, what were you talking about before? Uh, not much further. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. It can spot. Yeah. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. Cast the line then, Arthur. You get many bites there, old Driscoll? I ain't an old Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm... I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord. 
There's somebody who needs to go hey, to confession. Hey, watch the line. Oh, hey, I nearly got down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. You here for we some fishing? We hope to. You haven't scared them all away, have you? Oh, just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. Hey, Taiji, what's up? Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! Don't tell me you changed your mind. I think this is the place that naked feller was talking about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let's walk down to the beach. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. Cast one in then, Arthur. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. Did you hook him, the big one? I don't know. Uh, don't feel like much of a fighter. Not bad, buddy. 
But uh, it ain't the one we saw jump out of the water. See? Look at this. Life ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time how they're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. You got it. That has got to be the one, right? No, I don't feel very big to me. No, that's not it. Ну привет, легенда. much chance we need better bait you might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better i think i'm gonna head back to camp arthur if that's okay sure go on i'll see you later Come on now, boy. We see the.
I'm being genuine, Bill. We've been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dodge said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what about born in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so? Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these great boys have been now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you. Shit! It's over! We put down far worse than you! A hundred times over! This is the Grey's town! Always has been! Always will be! Only Grey's I see left around here is you! You want us to come out? We'll come out! Yeah. Oh, Bill! Guns on the ground, now! Both of you, don't do it! You know we can't do that. 
You put the gun down, Sheriff! I'll blow his brains out! You wanna join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? How the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't too. know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. And you can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Hurry him proper someplace quiet. <clears throat> Micah? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we we're making of things. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, I... Where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you. Let's ride! Okay, let's go get that boy back! They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about John too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did 
did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think the there is any gold. But if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on. Sean, now Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now! You inbred trash! Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this...
and find that brainswave woman! Jack, you in here? Jack! Jack, can you hear me? Jack! Jack? Oh, sh shit! Where's the boy? boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problems except by Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. Uh, uh, what about down? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. <laughs> Damn, Yankee! 
I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else you came for me risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love <sighs> ain't that fine <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to kill all these folk dutch just you in that case it'll be my honor to join you Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? 
I know a big old house, hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need to get shot off. Follow me. I know the way. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. But we have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his game. Hosea, too. Get involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. You're going the wrong way. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from... Yeah. Ah. This is your last <laughs> What was you talking about before? He won't go down. Start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. Oh. Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. So, anyway, right now? All right. Should be just down this path. us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Some here. Die. 
Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? Where are you creeps hiding? Come out where I can shoot you. Oh, I'm gonna be real happy to shut you up. Ah! <laughs> You are some of the cows like you. You think you're tough, Yankees? Come in here. How's it looking up there? I think we're clear. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Here. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Okay, I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan, guide them in. We got fine living. Ignore the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. girl all I've got going on and she wants to talk everything okay with you two I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea so where are we going to take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? 
few loose ends, nothing major. And John, about what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkerton? That horse has got your number, Arthur. Hey, partner. So, yeah, of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families, losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need... more money. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Consider myself pure. And then I want you to ask yourself, what is the most disgusting, revolting, vulgar, and depressing thing in all creation? Mangling. Co-mangling. Nature. Nature likes purity. Nature does not you're in the damn way! Move! America must be nature. On Earth, we must push for purity. I want you to be pure.
What do you have playing today? We're playing the bear today. Well, let me know if you'd like to see a show. Yeah. Can I buy a ticket, please? Make your way through the doors on either side of me. tell you a morality tale from when our country was young that the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream, an old man wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land and gorge yourself on fish and meat and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for 60, go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle, and he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun Colin, or you, since you're into eating your friends, the turtle said. If wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two-Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what old man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Bear snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. Thank you. Hope it was a good show. Hey, move it! Watch where you're going.
Good evening, mister. Pardon me? Okay, fella.
You ever heard of a man called Angelo Bronte? Hmm, no. But fancy names like that? Maybe try the Bastille Saloon. Opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statues. Okay. Thank you. Excuse me, I'm trying to find a man named Bronte. You know the name? Bronte? No, don't think so. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. Hello? America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Go over oh, here. Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scott. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Oh, hey, friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Good day. walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times. Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live, New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, Bob, Brad. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. 
You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shit. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. You better stop right now. What's the problem, friend? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, <laughs> come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but... I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. Keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. 
Now, get out of here. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Let's take a look at it. We know all about you, so just make it easy on yourself and give up. Help, I want to leave me you don't help. Hey, you you go go yeah. Please, God, no! Oh. 
your step. Horn. Well, hello. Hi there. Keep it moving. What the devil? Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. Two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Oh. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? For me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. <clears throat> I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I... I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, old ass. Mm? Asshole? Mm, that too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. 
Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art, it's for idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you, uh, but here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Eh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. sir. Will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some, some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. I'm afraid... I, I can't save the poor. Fair enough. You see, I've been poor. Charity... It never did anyone any good. I'm sure. What do I know? I'm just a fool making foolish choices myself. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, uh, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like Saint Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. <laughs> How may I help you today? You watch where you go. Hey. I'm sure you're okay. taking it easy. Whoa. Just take look out. You best mind your step. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Looking for anything in particular? You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Oh, uh, nothing much back there, I'm afraid. Just a few old books. Got a few paintings over there. Something for the wife, maybe? Well, you just let me know if I can help at all.
A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please. They made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Skirt of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Made me do it, I swear. Oh, hello? Shh, Kajate, Kajate. Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Nozaki! Ajudanos! Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Señor, muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're going to be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. No lo sé. Estamos libres y eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. ¿A dónde vamos? Hey there. Brother. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Yeah, so thank you everybody for watching, liking, commenting, have a good day everybody, bye bye.